Hi, it's Bridget. I just did yoga super early today. Yeah. <sighs> I've been doing it, so that's good. It's really an embodiment for me. So it definitely helped this morning to do two meditations and yoga before I even have breakfast. <laughs> I thought, good idea, good idea. All right, so let's do a card together today. Let's pull a card. I know you guys like the cards, so... And we're going to use our good old standby, our Denise Lund Sacred Traveler deck. I hope you can see this okay. I know it's dark. I, there's not much I can do about it. I don't want to turn the big light on here. I'm so in a comfy place right now. So, all right. So, let's get... I'm just going to flip some cards here with my hand. Just going to pick one. Oh, this one feels good. Ooh. Distant thunder clear the air for my friends who like to journal distant thunder clear the air thunder with thunder and lightning comes together don't they isn't it that you hear the thunder and then the lightning comes mm -hmm. so that energy of the thunder and lightning so it's a catalyst for change that's what it feels like clear the air we're activating the air element and the light element we're catalyzing with that energy of anticipation of the lightning strike, which is a huge rush of energy, a big alchemical connection between fire and light. And as it reaches into the earth, then it would also activate the earth element. So here with this one card, we've got the earth, air, the fire, and, and, and perhaps the rain. So then we have the water to help cleanse and clear and purify. Okay, so let's see if I can get a good look at this card for you guys. Get a good look at the card here. Mm. So the colors are green and yellow, which is solar plexus and heart chakra, also healing. It's definitely thunder though. There's definitely thunder. And it's off in the distance, so you can see it coming. So it's not a surprise or not unexpected. This is related to current events. Not a surprise, really. Is it really that much of a surprise? Is it really that unexpected? No. <laughs> no, sadly. Not that unexpected. So when people do things and it disappoints you or you feel discouraged because of that, ask yourself, is this unexpected? Mm. So it's not like it's a big shocker. So at least that part is good. Like, you know what to expect, right? So <laughs> at least you can say that. It's not like this big unknown thing that just comes up and gets you. It's not like that. It's just not sneaking up on you. You kind of know. So are you really that surprised? No. So quit acting like you're so shocked. So instead of, of being all freaked out, worried, and stressed about what's coming, let's really embrace the energy of what is present while this process is occurring, which is... The skies are so cool during the storms, aren't they? Aren't they beautiful? Aren't they incredibly gorgeous? Oh, I love that sky and during a storm, the clouds and they move. The movement is fast. It can be so fast and unfold right before your eyes. So change can happen quickly. Transformation can happen. The sky can transform in just an instant. And it doesn't, we're not going to judge it as good or bad. We're just going to notice it, observe it. Look what's happening and utilize that energy and get your cues from nature and the elements. And with that, of course, you want to make sure that you're feeling safe and sheltered in your own home base, so your space. So like today, I did yoga. I knew I would need it extra, extra. So I started in the morning to do it. Okay, so I have a client, client sessions today. So I knew that I would need to make sure that I'm honoring and embodying myself. Am I as healthy and connected as I can be in my human body, because that's a part of this. Your human experience is a part of this. And a part of that kind of being prepared, being connected into your body so that you, when something shakes you, something happens that you perceive as bad or that does feel bad, it does not feel good, externally, outside, globally, current events, etc., you can still have your home base. You are your home base. You are shelter. You are that safe space for yourself. You don't have to change just because other people 
react, respond, behave in a certain way, you don't have to change yourself. But you can also notice that this external change is um, perhaps an invitation to you to cleanse, clear, release, clear the air. Let go a bit more of other unrealistic expectations you have of other people to behave the way you behave because they don't. To live the life that you live because they don't. Everyone has their own empowered choices to make, whether you like them or not. They do. And so too do you. And perhaps that's what's really upsetting the most is that you have empowered choices that you are not making. You are not making for your health, your wellness. Are you spending time on a yoga mat? I, I am today. I made that choice for myself because I know it's an empowered choice for me. For you, your empowered choice might be walking the dog because it helps you get outside, take a breath of fresh air. For other people, it might be reading a passage from a great book of poetry that just inspires them. It could be making a great smoothie in the morning. It could be listening to your favorite music. Whatever that is for you, make an empowered choice for you. Make an empowered choice for you. All right. So this is a Denise Lynn card deck, Sacred Traveler. It's one of our favorites. I will take a picture of this and post it on Bridget Inspired on Instagram. So you can take a look at it deeper for yourself and glean additional meanings for you. Thanks for being here on my Fairy Grasshopper YouTube channel where I share everything intuitive. I also love to do vlogs like this as well as card readings as you've seen here today. The goal is always to inspire your spirit, to fill you with hope, to give you encouragement because this is your life after all, so live it. You've got to live it. Don't be watching other people living their lives and making all sorts of observations about that. What can you do for you? <laughs> live your life. That's where your power is. All right. Thanks for being here. Have a good day.